And I tell you, God keep telling us that He's going to do new things in our lives. I believe that 2012 is my season. 2012 is my year. 2012 is my opportunity. And God will do new things in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are in for good time in 2012. It's going to be miracle galore. People will follow you to the church here to give testimonies. They will follow you to the church here to praise the Lord. They will rejoice with you. I am telling you, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. You, are, you and your children, your family, we possess the gate of those that ate you in 2012. Yeah. And you will possess the gate of your enemies. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Isaiah 43 verse 18 to 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Ah, look, this is going to be a special occasion. You know, you will have been born 100 years ago. But you were born at a time like this because God has a specific purpose for you this moment. It is your time. You just have to believe this to conceive it. You just have to conceive it to receive it. You just have to confess this to everybody. This is my season. This is my year. God is going to do wonderful things in your life. The Lord will fight for you. Listen very carefully. In 2012, the Lord will rise up for you and He will work out things for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, the more intensive your warfare in 2012, the more extensive God's grace will be there for you. The Lord of hosts will stand on your behalf. You will hold your peace. You will enjoy the peace of God in 2012. It's your year. You just have to believe this. To conceive it, you must believe this. And when you conceive it, you receive it. You confess it to everybody that this is my year. Listen, after any bitter challenge in 2012, after any bitter, after any kind of challenge in 2012, sweet victory will come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not telling you there's not going to be challenge. You're going to have challenges. But sweet victory, sweet victory will crown your effort in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sweet victory will crown your head. Amen. Fire of Nebuchadnezzar of 2012 will not burn you. Because you are never alone, you will live in the Lord. You will triumph. God will show up for you this year, 2012. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There will be wonders, miracles. There will be an excellent breakthrough, open doors, opportunities. Can you see victory around you right now? Look around you. You're going to see victory, victory, victory. Amen. Amen. God will do new things. Don't you believe that? Tell somebody you are in for miracle galore. I am going to rejoice with you. Yes. I am going to rejoice with you. Yes. Let me be able to take time to explain to you about the number. 12 is the perfect number, right? Yes. 12. Number 12. Number 12 occurred about 187 times in the Bible. 187. And out of these 187 times in the Bible, about, it occurred 22 times in Revelation. That God, see, God is God of plan. He's so orderly. God does everything with number, measurement, and weight. When you have this opportunity to be in 2012, I am telling you, you are special. Amen. You will have been dead last year, but God spared your life because you are a miracle. God is about to do something in your life. Amen. Believe me very carefully. Number 12 is so important. Let me take a little time to explain to you. Jesus anointed 12 disciples, right? Let, look, for the opportunity that you have to see 2012, 2012 will not come one and once. 
2012, we don't come more than once. And now that you are experiencing it now, shake somebody, say, welcome to this wonderful year. <laughs> welcome to your year. Welcome to, the, to your year of miracles. Listen to me very carefully. God has not finished with you yet. 2012, oh no. I don't know if you believe, I don't know if you are seeing what I'm saying. I'm seeing people here with wonderful testimonies. I'm seeing people here with employment opportunities. I'm seeing people here triumphantly moving in business. I'm seeing people here rejoicing. I'm seeing children here. People carrying their children around. I'm seeing children getting to schools, graduating from colleges, cruising in their opportunities. This is what I'm seeing. Are you seeing the same thing with me? 2012. God did not bring you to 2012 to disgrace you. No. It did not bring you to this year to embarrass you. This year you will accelerate and complete every project you lay your hands on. Yeah. You will complete it. You will accelerate, you will complete it. Numbers are the secret code of God's word. I'm going to take time, one, maybe one of these days, to, to preach on numbers. You will see how important numbers are. Very important. Numbers are the secret code of God's word. Look at Isaiah calling from verse 25. I'm excited. There is one urgency in my spirit to lay hands on some people, to thank God for them, for the great breakthroughs God will do in their lives. I can see young men, young men, having wonderful God chosen wives. I can see young women, young women, Johnny hands with wonderful men doing God's work and doing a lot of extensive breakthrough in the Lord. I can see families triumphantly getting together, enjoying their peace in the Lord. I can see people here with wonderful, wonderful testimonies. I can see people here. What about you? Are you seeing the same thing? Look at Isaiah 40 from verse 25. To whom then will you like me? Or to whom shall I be equal? says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. Who brings out their host by number? By what? By God is God of plan. He does everything in numbers, in weight, and in measurement. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of his mind and the strength of his power. Not one is missing. Not one is missing. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think Jesus begin to appear in the public. At what age? Age 12. Check with me Luke chapter 2, verse 42. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. Now, now I, I'm not telling you to begin to do like this, people reading stars and this and that. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, you have to believe God's word. And you have to believe this is your day. This is your year. This is your own season. And if you believe these things I'm telling you, and you claim it, that this is a special year. Every year is good, but this is a special year. This is your year. Amen? Amen. Jesus appeared in the public when he was 12 years old. When time, if time will permit, I will go extensively on that. Remember when he was to be arrested and be crucified? In Matthew chapter 26, verse 53. Or do, or do you think that I cannot now pray to my father and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? Look at that number, 12. Angelic powers is perfected by 12 legions of angels. 12 legions of angels mark the perfections of angelic powers. 2012 is a special year. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's a special year for God to unite families together. For God to bring people to their expectations. See, I, I know the thought that I have for you is a thought of peace and not of evil to give you hope and to give you fusion. The Lord will go to give you hope. He will renew your strength in 2012, the mighty name of Jesus. You just have to believe it to conceive it. You have to conceive it to receive it. If somebody is around is not believing what you are believing, shake that person out. Do what? We're going to get there. You're going to, you're going to shake so many things out. The bride of Christ is pictured with a crown of 12 stars. 
You check Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with his moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of 12 stars. So number 12 is so important. Number 1 is good. It's being said number 1 is for unity. But this number 12, perfection. The Lord will perfect all that has to do with you. He will complete all that has to do with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are, not, you are not dead, you are here because he has a plan for you. It is not by mistake you marry that man. It's not by error you marry that woman. Those children God gave to you, they are not accidents. And you are not an accident. Tell somebody you are not an accident. Uh -huh. You are special. If you shake, look, if you, if you read Revelation chapter 21, you see how much the Bible explained number 12. New Jerusalem, New Jerusalem has 12 gates of powers. 12 angels at the gates and the names of the 12 tribes of Israel over the gates. The wall of the city has 12 foundations of precious stones. In them are the names of the 12 apostles. Why not another number? 12 is special. 2012 is special. Me, I believe this. And I'm conceiving it now. I'm going to receive a special miracle in 2012. Not just, not just, not just, and just like that. It's going to be a special miracle in 2012. I promise you, I will give you the testimony. What about you? You just have to believe what I'm telling you, brethren. If you don't believe this, it's left to you. I can't help that. You just have to build up your faith on this and let's ride together. Look, the world is 144 cubits. Talking about New Jerusalem now. 144 cubits high, 12 by 12. 144. Cubits. High. 12 by 12. 144. The city is 12,000 furlongs. 12,000 furlongs. Square. Look, during the great tribulations, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel are saved. Totally 144,000. Revelation chapter 7. There were 12 sons of Jacob, right? Well, of course, the tribe. We're talking about the tribe now. And we also have 12 princes of Ishmael. 12 princes. The high priest breastplate used for judgment had 12 stones representing the 12 tribes. The show bread consisted of 12 loaves. Are you tired of number 12? Ah, that is why you are here. 2012 is a special year. 2012 is more than 2011. So what God is going to do for you in 2012 will be greater than whatever years you have spent in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm believing God. There will be healing in the house. The Lord will heal. Financially, spiritually, physically, every way the Lord is going to heal you. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason of anointing over my life, I'm saying it that God will heal you. Isaiah 40, verse 12. Isaiah 40, verse 12. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? Measured heaven with a, with a span and calculated the dust of the heart in a measure. God does everything numbers, measurements, weights. He's the only one who can do that. Can you see anybody who can, who can measure water? No. It's so fearful. Water is so fearful. In a second, the water that is giving you opportunity could take one's life. Look at the captain. The captain in, uh, in Italy. When they were asking why did you desert why, why did you desert the, the ship and, you, and, 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 and disappear? He, what, you know what he said? Have you read it? He said, I tripped, and when I tripped, I fell into a lifeboat. And then, go and read it. That's what he said. When he tripped, why can't he trip into the water? He tripped and fell into a lifeboat, and then to safety, and in his hotel. See, only God can. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is just a joke. That man lost himself so much. God is not going to desert, desert you. Amen. Jesus is not going to desert you. You are not alone in 2012. It's not good for a man to be alone. You are not alone. You are not hydrogen. You are a lone ranger. You know, you need, you need people around you. But you need to select. We're going to get, maybe go together. Let me quickly finish this uh, kind of. Look at Job chapter 38. Job 38. Numbers are the secret code of God's word. You are in. 
to number 12, 2012, is a great year. It's a special year. Because number 12 is special. Who determines its measurement? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy, or who shut the sea with doors? Even smartest engineer cannot shut the sea with doors. Can you shut the sea with doors? No. When it burst forth and issued from the womb, is the Lord who can do all that. Look at Amos chapter 4 verse 13. Amos 4 13. You are not serving an ordinary guy. You are serving a super, great, wonderful, loving father. And what he said he's going to do, he will do. He's not a liar. He will do. He's going to do something special in your life. Amen. Just buckle up. Just, we are heading to a very good ride in 2012. The Lord will spare your life. Amen. You will not die anyhow. Let me tell you, I sealed everybody here in this morning with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. None of you will die without, without seeing the end of your days. The mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. You will fulfill your destiny. Yeah. You will live long, yeah. long life, yeah. good health, yeah. prosperity yeah. will be your portion. Yeah. Because you walk into this place this morning, the Lord will see you through your journey. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thus said the Lord. Amos chapter 4, verse 13. For behold, he who forms mountains and creates the wind, who declares, the, who declares to man what his thought is, and makes the morning de darkness, who trusts the high places of the heart, the Lord God of us is his name. He's declaring to you now his thought for your life. His great thought. You don't have to believe this to receive it. When you believe this, you conceive it. And then you receive it. God has great thoughts for you. And he is declaring that thought for you right now. He's letting you know. Isaiah 48 verse 13. Isaiah 48 verse 13. Say, indeed, my hand has laid the foundation of the heart, and my right hand has stretched out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand up together. God is calling all the foundation of this heart to stand together on your behalf this morning. To see you through your journey. You will not sink. The foundation of your life will not collapse. Because that rock, the rock of ages, is that foundation. You will never be disappointed. You will never be brought to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sin will not rule your life. You will live and you will triumph over sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 102. Amen. Amen. Look. In 2012, wherever you may be, be there, be there, be all there. If you are here this morning, be here this morning, amen? amen. Begin to receive the promise, don't sleep. Hello? Aye. Because if I ask to come and get money, nobody's going to sleep. <laughs> if people work 24 hours, they tell you, come and get free money, they will rush there. I told you a story. Somebody we just added the news, they were you know, you know, sending the flyer. They said we should go to somewhere and start somewhere, we should come and buy car for, I think, $100, right? For $100. I worked so tired that Friday to Saturday, where I told my wife, let's go get this car. And I told her, look, let's get money. We're going to get at least two. <laughs> <laughs> true, true life story. True life in Chicago here. So we woke up early in the morning. We woke up very well. We even prayed. We prayed. We went to ATM, we got $200 and some other extra money. We rushed down to that place to get the, the $100 card. <laughs> Come and see how many people were there. <laughs> we're all struggling to even to get this place to stand. When we got there, they said, if you all come and register your names and everything, I told my wife, I'm not registering anything. I won't give my information. I want this card. This is $100 card, it's what I want. They say, okay, after we do registration, we, we refuse. Okay, they say, okay, just write your name and get a number. We got the number. They said they will not open the gate yet. They said they, those cars are inside. Hundred dollar car. We waited. We were patient. Look, when something is free, people are patient. <laughs> if it's in the job, you look looking at their time. 
Hey, it's 30 minutes. Pastor, finish preaching. Preach it, preach it. We all waited. We stayed there. They were not giving us anything for refreshment. Nothing, nothing. We met some other people that we knew there. Anyway, when they eventually opened the gate, we got into the parking lot where they park all the cars. Lo and behold. Lo, lo and behold. Hundred dollar car for where? They used that to bring all of us together. Nothing on their dollar. You see all the price tag on those cars? You, you, and I don't know if it is legal for them to do that to us. But this is where I'm, this is where I'm going. <laughs> when we were in that place, we were there. We were not missing anything. People back on the street, they, we were all there. Nobody was ready to go anywhere. It's not the time, they were waiting for the time they opened the gate to go to go and get one dollar car. Nobody was joking. Nobody said, let me just go. No, we all stay. You want, want to be the first person to go and sit down in one of the beds. You know what they were targeting? They were, they were looking at all these new, new cars. They thought, truly speaking, they would be under 100. You never know if somebody is sponsoring that uh, pro, uh, promotion. <laughs> People were targeting, hey, I'm going to start that one. We are looking. They didn't put it. <laughs> <Praise God. laughs> They didn't put the price tag. If they had put the price tag, I know many people would have gone. We're all targeting you, know, you when you rush. See people talking, you, my wife, take you know, the SUV. You just rush <laughs> When I go, <laughs> when we got into those cars, then we saw the price, we price behind it somewhere. Lo and behold, we are, we are disappointed. Only in God there is no disappointment. Only in God it is never too late. Only in God there's nothing unfortunately. Only in God there's nothing by luck. No, not in God. God is a good God. He will not disappoint you. He will not deceive you. When God says he's going to do something, he will do it. That is the God we are serving. You are in to a very good life in 2012. Yeah. The Lord is here. He's going to touch you. He's going to touch you. Yeah. Isaiah 40, verse 25 to 26. I think we've read that. I think we've had enough of this number, right? If time will permit me, I will go further into it. But this is what I'm trying to emphasize that 2012 is a special year. And God is going to do something special in your life. Amen. Number 12, by God, God who is the great geometrician. Geometry, God is the author of geometry, amen? amen. And he made use of number, measurement, and weight. And he decided to make number 12 special number among all numbers. The Lord will make you special. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that because we have seen this year, you will see God's glory and goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Direct your thoughts in 2012. Amen. Yeah. Do not allow your thoughts to direct you. Yes. Begin to control your thoughts. Amen. As I'm speaking to you now, begin to believe all that I'm saying. Think big. Achieve great. Explore opportunities. It's your year of great exploit. The mighty name of Jesus. Look at Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. I'm going to read verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. As I'm talking now, some people, they don't believe what I'm saying. Some people are not ready to renew their mind. I'm telling you, renew your mind. Begin to think big. Amen? Amen. Don't look down on yourself. Begin to think great. You can live above sin. You can be a good Christian. It's not going to be your, by your power. It's not going to be by your mind. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. You can give your life to Jesus Christ. It's possible. Because with God, all things are possible. So as I'm talking, begin to renew your mind. If somebody is telling you, oh, it's just talking, that's how they talk. That's how they talk. Pastor, pastor is just talking like that. How can God do? See, they told me the same thing in 2010. I remember one crusade I attended. In 29, the pastor said we should be dancing. We are dancing, we think money is going to fall. I am not telling you money is going to fall from the sky. That's what I'm saying. Work to get money. But I'm saying that, look, it's not going to be of him that runs, no, of him that wins. 
is of God that shows mercy. And the Lord will show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And I'm talking to you, please. Look, you remember the law of the group. I have explained this before. You become, you will be like those people you hang around with. It's a matter of time. If you want to fly, you say, oh, I want to fly in the sky, I want to fly. And you are hanging around with people operating train, operating, you know, bus, people walking. It's going to be hard for you to fly. Are you listening to me now? As I'm talking this morning, and I'm talking to you, renew your mind. Just believe what I'm saying. If there's anybody who does not believe what you believe, listen to me very carefully. Run right now. You have, to, you have right to choose your friends. You have right to choose people you relate with. There are some people, to them, nothing is possible. You are telling them your dreams, they are dream killers. They are visual killers. Release them. Embrace dream makers. Embrace vision makers. People that will share their testimonies with you. Not people that will discourage you. There are people, they never believe anything is possible. They make you afraid. They make you fear. Hey, you're in America. Ah, you are in a big debt. Does it mean everybody who lives in America is in a big debt? Hello? There is no place in the world without advantages and disadvantages, opportunities. And of course, there are another part of opportunities in prison yard. That will not be your portion about the name of Jesus. It's a matter of choice. It's a matter of choice. Listen, progress involves process. I am not saying that you are not going to put some effort, but in life, a big structure is built by laying the bricks one by one. When you are going to descend on a stairs, you do it one by one. Some people, they run and they crash. Some people sit down there and they run away. When I'm saying 2012, it's your year of great exploits. You need to make effort. I am not telling you to jump the stairs. I'm telling you to do what? Step by steps. You want to build a house. You think about it. You get an architect to design the house for you, right? The architect will design the house or the structure. The structure engineer will work on it. The mechanical engineer will work on it. The electrical engineer will work on it. Then you have the plumbers. Then you begin to see people putting everything together. You see painters. Everyone has his own part to play. Step by step. I am not telling you to rush and crash. Neither am I telling you to sit down and run away. This is your year. Make effort. Make effort. And as you are planning for your year, as you are planning for whatever things you want God to do for you, because this is your season, watch out for dream killers. Watch out for vision destroyers. Watch out for people that is impossible. Is impossible. There's what you tell them that is possible. It is impossible. What are you telling me? Bookkeeping methodology people. You know what I call bookkeeping methodology people? They want to work with God. They take their book, uh, uh, bookkeeping or book uh, ledger. Income expedition. Uh, what do you call the results? Oh, we lose here. We balance it. Last year, I gave God $100. Where is the income? God did not give anything. Like, okay. You check the balance. Yeah, check the balance. Say, okay, God. You didn't give it back. All right. 2012, I will reduce the calculator. That is canality. What do you do? You stay away from people like that. You want to work with God? You work by faith, not by sight. You want to please God? You must have faith. God will call those things that are not as though they were. 
2012. Take it serious. Some friends, focus. Some friends, take away from you. When they keep taking away, taking away your opportunities, taking away your victory, taking away your vision, killing your dreams, hey, check out. To fulfill your dreams, you need people. Hello. To fulfill your vision, you need people. God says it's not good for man to do what? To be alone. You are not hydrogen. A lone ranger. As a matter of fact, when hydrogen combines with other elements, of course, it becomes great. Water is wonderful. You put hydrogen and water, hydrogen gives, and water, I mean oxygen also gives, and you put hydrogen and oxygen together, what do you have? You have water. When you allow oxygen to say no, or hydrogen say no, they will not do as much as they will do when they come together and become H2O. Hello? Hi. Chemistry 100. Are you, are, are you with me? Yes, sir. You remember what I'm talking? Hi. This is what I'm saying. When you bring people of the same mind together, they strive hard. They need more. You must identify people that have the same vision with you. Are you with me right now? Yes, sir. Christianity is not stupidity. Hey, the pastor said, I'll Christians to be together. I'm not saying Christians should not be together. But you are together with somebody who is stealing your vision. Who is telling you that it's not here of great exploits. He's telling you to confess negative. You do what? Run away. Run away. It's going to be very hard for you. Because the gatekeeper of your soul are your friends. And the gatekeeper of your destiny is your soul. You must let you must figure out what is going inside. I have given you the detail about your soul, telling you your soul contains your what? Your will, your mind, and your what? Emotions. You should, this one should be in your hands right now. You are tripartite being. Physically, spiritually, and what? You got spirit, you have soul, you have body. When you go to your soul, you have your mind, you have your will, and you have your emotions. And I will tell you, when we are talking of number 12, right? You, no, let, let's, let's leave that for another sermon. I want to pray very soon. And when we finish, we'll finish, we'll continue this message maybe, maybe next week. Because I don't want to delay you. I don't want to take your time. But I just want you to be here when you are here. I want to take notice of what I'm telling you. This is your season. Tell someone, this is my season. You have to determine succeed this year. You are a Christian. You are born again. All those things that are not as if though they were. Hello. Bless your children. Think big for them. Think big for your wife. When your wife comes with a dream, don't kill it. There are men like that. They don't just, they just think that if when they are, there are some men they think when their wives, you know, are making it, making it they will become proud. Who tell you that? If Christ is in anybody, if Christ is in your life, humility will come in. No matter what you have, you will submit. If, if Christ is there, and there's some, there's, there's some women too, they will never encourage their husbands. They will not encourage them. It's not good. Let's encourage each, each other. Be an encourager. Tell somebody, be an encourager. That woman, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Now, I, I'm sorry to say, I read something either by, either by Abraham Lincoln. I don't know if some of you read it before. Let me say that before we pray. I think that Abraham Lincoln said that, I will just explain it. I don't want to put it back I think he said that. It's not a bad word. I'm just explaining it to you. Amen? Yeah. If you don't open your mouth, people will not know how stupid you are. <laughs> it's kind of saying that if you just keep, you sit down, you keep quiet. You will not, your enemy will not even know where you are standing. You know that the enemy wants to kill you, right? It will be wrong for you to give your enemy ammunition to shoot you. Some of us, when we talk and we talk, we are giving enemies ammunition to do what? If, if, if your wife comes with a big project, the problem might be so great 
there, it may, there is something that is very difficult to achieve. If you know you are not going to help her, do what? Close your mouth. Because when you say it is not possible, we, they need to tell us, our mother needs to tell us, don't say bad thing. You don't know the angel that is passing. <laughs> Maybe Gabriel is passing by. Don't say anything bad thing. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. You know, what they are trying to say is that don't call some bad things to yourself because it may come to pass. Now, if you are used to calling good things for yourself, let's assume that angels are passing. Every time you are calling good things, is well with you. Amen. Some people, you know, they will, they will not say the, the, the negative one. They will say, this, this child, this child, the Lord will bless you. Now, they want to say this child, you know, the Lord will give you another one because they were annoyed. But they will say, this child, the Lord will bless you. Hey, you, you this, this child, you are, you are, your head is correct. <laughs> now, it's like to say the other one. But because, you know, it's been used to the fact that he has to bless not to cause. Let's be an encourager. Amen. Let's help to develop vision. Let's help to develop dreams. Let's begin to tell God that this is my season. This is my year. It's my year of great exploits. I will strive hard this year. I will make it this year. I will break through this year. He's the God of breakthroughs. Anything I need my hands on, I will prosper. I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I will bring forth my, my fruit in my seasons. And my life will not be that. In 2020, you know, brethren, I am not saying that you are not going to make some effort. You know, it takes time for a big tree to grow, right? When you plant a big a, a seed of a big tree, it takes time to grow. But by the time it's growing, begin to think big. Begin to think that it will grow successfully. Begin to think that the leaf will not wither. Begin to think that when it is time for that tree to yield fruit, it will yield its fruit. It will not be a fig tree that will be caused. So let us begin to think like that. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You are special. Tell somebody you are special. I can see the beauty of God in your life. I can see the glory of God in your life. I can see you achieving great exploits this year. I can see you breaking through this year. I can see God bringing to pass all your visions and your dreams for your business, for your education, for your family, for your friends, for your church, for your ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, brethren, make it, baby. Make it, baby. Make, it, baby. make that move, baby. Father, 